What's going on guys? Welcome. I have not been on YouTube in a while, but I wanted to get on, do these little question and answer things. So we're gonna get right into it with the first question. Um, you can expect probably three questions to be answered during this. Um, these are questions that I either get through YouTube or Instagram. So we're gonna get right into it. So the first question is, how can you cut out, or how can you cut fat faster and what should you eat? So, when looking at cutting fat faster, um, and that means body fat, you need to really look at, one, are you tracking your nutrition? So, if you're not tracking your nutrition, uh, that's, a, that's a really great place to start. Uh, so, as we start tracking our nutrition, you're gonna find you're doing a lot of mindless eating, probably. Um, so, I would say that's the first step. So, start tracking, and then go four weeks, see what happens. Um, what you're gonna notice is probably, if you're not tracking already, you're probably gonna notice you do do a, mind, you do, do a lot of mindless eating and also um, you may be eating a lot of one macronutrient that you're not aware of. Uh, so you may be consuming a lot of dietary fat, um, which again, fat doesn't make you fat, but a very high dosage of dietary fat along with um, a higher dosage of protein carbs can actually make you gain body fat. So the next one would be if you are already looking after your nutrition, you need to, one, cut calories deeper, um, go into a deeper deficit uh, per se. So let's say you know your maintenance is around 2,800 calories uh, and you decided to go with a traditional 500 calorie per day deficit, that would land you around 2,300 calories. Um, and let's say you were losing the traditional pound per week. Uh, if you wanted to lose more, one option would just be to reduce the deficit more. Um, you know, maybe instead of 500, maybe you go 750 calories or even 1,000 calories under that maintenance um, and then you're gonna have to adjust as you go or you can stick with the 500 calorie per day deficit and start adding in cardio um, either low intensity or high intensity interval training um, so those are two options and in terms of what exactly to eat um, my answer would be eat food uh, you know the majority of it should come from very nutritious um, whole foods, minimally, minimally processed foods. Uh, so like practicing the 80-20 rule, right? So 80% of the foods that we're eating are that, and the other 20% are maybe a little more fun foods. Uh, you can do, uh, the way I like to look at it is with my coaching clients is we have a two to one ratio of if you get in two really, really good meals of whole nutrient dense minimally processed foods, that one meal um, can be a little more fun foods, we'll say, fun, right? Um, so that would be the next thing, uh, but there's not one food that's gonna make you uh, inherently burn fat faster or these magic foods um, that you may be seeing on the internet, like just eat food and you'll get there. So question number two, what's your take on working out twice per day? Um, I think this is honestly for very advanced athletes and and or because um, this is something that Steve Hall from Revive Stronger is doing um, he breaks up his more heavy his more complex compound movements in the in the beginning of the day uh, and then his second se with his first session and then his second session is actually in fact his accessory work and there is merit to this because if you know what Steve Hall is doing at Revive Stronger, it's he is a natural bodybuilding competitor and he is extremely low in calories and still working at his MRV or max, maximal recovery volume. Um, so Steve is one unreal in terms of what he's willing to endure during his contest prep. So. I would say Steve is more of his own science experiment, and so Steve has merit in his two day a day, you know, two times a day training. Um, but I would say, like, for most of you that are even going to see this video, 
I would say stick to one time training a day. Uh, make it, you know, quality over quantity. So make it a quality one hour workout, one hour, 15 minute workout. Get in, get out, um, contract muscles, progressively overload. Take that route. Question number three. This is going to be the last question that I do in this video. Uh, what's the best type of training for fat loss? Um, we'll go with two schools of thought. Uh, the first one would be consistently training is a really good idea. Uh, so your fat loss is mainly going to come from your nutrition. So what are you doing calorically? Um, again, like what we talked about in question one, right? So is that deficit great enough that we're actually losing body fat? So your training would come into play, like just consistently train. Like, can we get in the gym four days, five days, sometimes six days per week uh, to help increase our ability to not only retain muscle mass, but also burn body fat. And the second one was if you're already doing that, you're on point, you know, you're doing what you need to do there. The next is maybe create more of an oxygen deficit. Um, so I'll keep this very simple in terms of reduce rest periods. Um, again, like we're splitting hairs with it. I would say the most important thing is consistency with training and just pushing as much load as you can with good form um, and then progressively overloading that and then just proper programming over time is probably your best bet. So in terms of all of that, training specifically for fat loss, it's pretty much the same. Um, with one caveat, if you were training for muscle growth, and that one caveat is when you're in a deficit, you're not going to actually be able to do as much volume as you would be if you were in a surplus because you don't have enough calories to actually fuel the recovery process um, while in a deficit. So there's a lot more fatigue management that needs to happen while in a deficit relative to a gaining phase or a surplus. So anyways, that's gonna wrap up the video. Thank you guys for watching. Do the thumbs up thing. Um, you can only subscribe if you wanna subscribe. It's not mandatory, uh, but yeah. I'll be back hopefully once, twice per week. I'm not gonna guarantee anything with more Q&A uh, type videos. And if you guys have any other questions that you want asked in videos like this, just comment below and we'll make it happen.